Never Why is a bridesmaid never a bride? Hey, we have several fun and exciting announcements. Okay, now. <laughs> Alien is in process. Let's listen to Alien. No, I was just going to say that I, you, you could do your intro. Go ahead. Oh, hi, I'm here. <laughs> I've got my buddy Jevin next to me. Jevin's cool. That's all. <laughs> As you can see, I've got my kitty accoutrement back. Because I hoot, did, hoot. after the last episode, go and create that raid farm so that we can keep Thomas from accidentally killing himself by flying in rockets. Thomas does like to, you know, break via kinetic energy. Kinetic energy has definitely his nemesis. Yes. So, and while I was doing that, I realized, oh, that's good, I can get my, my fortune cat. And then I was, I was putting the fortune cat on and I remembered, oh yeah, I can do jelly ice cream sandwiches on my pork chops. And then Platy recommended that I put a custom model battle recipe book up so that they guys they could remember how to do stuff too. So this is all of the recipes for um, custom model data we have right now on the server. Um, most of these are actually all available also if you go to the world download for last season with the same numbers and everything. So there you go, you can do some cool stuff. Um, <laughs> um, Fortune Cat is by Kusinki, I think is her name, but I could be mispronouncing it. Um, jelly Ice Cream Sandwiches are by Hoffman. And Wahaj is by somebody who I can't remember the name of right now. And everything else is by me. Or pretty much anything jelly themed is by Hoffman, really. Because I just feel like those right out of Star's Starland stuff. But also today, we're going brushing. We've got several trail rooms and we figured, hey, that would be a cool thing to do. We've got shulkers now, so... Yeah, it's very nice to have the shulkers again. So now we're just waiting for... We're organizing things and actually, uh... I need a bio break, so I'll be back in a minute, guys. Here, everyone watch Alien Scamper Run. Oh, okay. That looks like Thomas is getting his new skin set up, because that's right, Thomas has created a new skin. Because Thomas is also like that, actually. He's gotten really into, like, the pixel art, and I have some, like, cool Thomas pixel art coming up later in the season, but I have to get off my butt and design stuff first before it has a place to be used. So. Sad but true. No, but I'm, I'm slacking on this stuff. Yeah, so um, once Thomas comes on and gets his stuff all ready, we're probably going to do a little farm tour first because I've done a lot of farm building kind of like off screen and um, these two haven't had a chance to really get a look at that stuff either. So I figured we'll show that stuff off first and then head over to a trail ruin and start doing the doodads and the doohickeys, the thingamabobs. Nice looking stuff you got there. Oh, I like the little moon. Oh, it's so cute. I like it. Oh, I like the shoes too. Like the one shoe peeking out. That's cool. This is very, very awesome. awesome. Thomas does awesome things. Cool. Very nice. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I, I did put throw. I threw mending and unbreaking on this brush too because we had a spare brush. So if you just wanted to grab that, too, you, we you could do that too. Oh my! Uh, 
Oh, and I'm not sure if you noticed when I was telling Claddy, but we have totems! Woohoo! Totems! I'm back, everybody. Also, I am changing the doubles from end maybe, because they're my old doubles, I'm using that now. That's fine. Oh, good idea. Cool skin, dude. I know, isn't it awesome? Totally. You're like the master of disguise because their skins change so much. <laughs> it's very cool. But don't forget to grab a totem if you want it. Or more! Because I noticed that there's no totem in your hands right now. Uh, we have more totems. Oh my god, we have more totems. Okay. <laughs> and if you want to reskin any of them to a different texture, I put the um, recipe book that tells you how to reskin them down here too. So. But you've already started the, the rainbow shulkers. Heck yeah. I won't do them all up before we go. <laughs> but I've got my brown box, that's platy carpentry, that's wood. I've got my white box, that's the platy fridge, that's the food. I got my yellow box, that's platy potions, that's potions and totems. And I got my lime box, which is the platy tools. So that's got my spare tools, uh, armor, and weapons. Okay. Which is where I should put this spyglass too. <laughs> I figured we could do a quick tour of, of the farms first, if you wanted. Oh yeah, that sounds good. In fact, that's the order I put it in, in my title, so... Yeah, but that's just because two-word things come better in conjunctions after one-word things. And I did tours and trail runes. Know where all of the farms here are, like the stone farm and the, all of that stuff. So you don't need those. But let's head to the Nether because that's where all the fun stuff is portalificated towards. I slept and still got here at the same time. I know, you're like extra zippy. And Lama is flying up. The wind thing. Nice, dude. Yeah, those are fun. Totally. Alrighty, so. Follow that alien. Um, we've marked it out already, but to get to the where we're gonna do, like, if we get a thunderstorm, you come out and you go this way. 
this isn't exactly a farm, but you come out this way and you go down to the end of this this guy right here. It's the that way. It's just that's to the plains. You know what? Like you only have trim on your shoes and they're like glowing and it's like you remember your little kids used to have those shoes that lit up when you walked in them? Oh, that's awesome. I love it. That's the best. Yeah. Totally. Okay, so pork chop farm is over here. You already kind of know about that though. And the trail route, the trial chamber farm doodads are over there if you ever want to use those. Okay. Same way. Um, but this way is the, the fun newish er stuff. The latest farms. So the gas farm is like right here. You just I think go. I heard another stomach girl. I know. You just go all the way up to the top and chill out there for a while. It's not like super duper fast rates or anything, but it gets us what we need. Cool, cool. <laughs> I hear the ghosts of a gas now. Is it, can a gas be a ghost? What would be more ghastly than a ghast ghost? I don't know, I suppose. By the way, I guess if uh, you had him over for dinner, he'd be a ghast ghost guest. <sighs> and this is to the creeper and raid farm. The raid farm's actually really fun, by the way. Sweet. So the creeper farm is like right over there in the ocean. I probably can already still see it. Um, it's just the usual creeper farm design, the whole little mango slash gambam. Um, mob farm design with the trapdoors for the creepers. The raid farm is directly due south from here. Um, and I probably should have brought um, but it's, but it's not that far of a sudden. Ah, I see it. Especially when you have water scoop, which I do. Or wings, like somebody's fancy pants over there. What's this? That's the raid farm. So raid oh. farms kind of got ruined in 1.20.5 and onward. So this is what we're kind of reduced to. I love it. We only have like half a chest of totems instead of having them coming out of our ears. You know, so I've got a farmer here and I've got, you know, that's for burning the ravagers and everything. Head down. Ooh, icebergs. Yeah, I noticed nice icebergs over there while I was building, so I have like plenty of ice for Reginald's Palace now, which is really exciting. Oh, there's more down, okay. Yep, just keep going down. And then I have a villager in here too, just for safety's sake. I wasn't sure if I needed one both down and up, but it was just easier just to put them both in. Makes now, sense. Now this is really cool. Um, you take the drink. It makes the sneaky noises. I love the you do have to be very careful though when you drink that do this because we can possibly get um vexes, which will be disastrous because villager right here. But then it's pretty much like what the old rain farm you stand here and kind of whack at them as they come down. They should have only one hit point when they come down through, so you want to pretty much kill them as soon as they come down unless they're bouncing, and then you kinda of have to wait until they stop bouncing. Oh. Now this is really fun. They kind of like spill out of nowhere when they when they um come in. It's really kind of cool to watch them. It's just like <laughs> Do I hear the horn? Noise. And then it just kind of spits everything out and along the way. We end up with like a lot of, um, we almost end up with more redstone than emeralds just from the witches, which is kind of cool. If I had a bell here, I forgot to get a bell, but this guy like constantly rings the bell too. It's kind of funny. That was fun. You want to whack Lama? Go on. We also have a ton of saddles now too from all of the ravagers. So weird.
Waha. Back in shins, that's what we do. Uh oh. Uh oh. We lost the raid. Yeah. That hasn't happened before. What's up with that? That's weird. That is weird, because that was like... The others were having no trouble coming in. But, oh well. We like, have... we lost the raid as in it went away, not as in we lost the raid, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> Both villagers are still alive. It just like we didn't get victory. It just stopped. Just fizzled out, eh? Yeah, that's weird. Cause usually, it, like in all of my testing, it never happened. I suppose you know, we didn't do much of that. But yeah, so all of this stuff comes through here. We've got emeralds, redstone, the glowstone, gunpowder, glass bottles, sugar. Cause why not? And then everything else comes into here. And then I have a little trash where I just manually put things into some lava. And of course my ominous bottles. Nice. It's pretty good. It works pretty nicely overall. I'm pretty pleased with how it's working. I mean, it's slightly slower than the farm we used to use, but still gets yeah. us really good rates. So. Yeah, we have a decent amount of totems now, so. Yeah. Yay. So do you want to hit the trail ruin that's nearish here or do you want to hit the trail ruin that's by home um how near to here is it it's actually a bit of a hike because it's over water so we could probably just like dig our home and do the one by home okay that sounds good I'm a little bummed that that rate didn't work. I wonder what's up with that. Maybe they got scared because there were too many of us. Maybe. Finally, Jackson. We're very imposing and intimidating. Very intimidating. Hello. Hello. I gotta say that I'm kind of impressed that we've found so many ruins, like, this season, just like, wandering around. Like, yeah, we last... like, never found them last season. Yeah, we had to like, go to Chunk Base to find them, it was kind yeah. of like, geez. Yeah, but they're this season, uh, it's like last season's Ocean Temples, Ocean Monuments. Yeah. I do have to make a monument farm soon too, but we haven't taken one of those on. We should do that soonish. Yeah, totally. We have puffer fish to make potions and Yeah, because we have like water breathing. Yeah, I did a lot of fishing early on in the season, so we have like a ton of puffer fish. By the way, I took all the gold carrots that were in the food chest. That's fine. Unicorns need gold carrots. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I know, right? It really is right here. All right. Sweet. I know, I didn't even bring wood. That's okay. Actually, that's going to end up hovering. Hold on, let me move this. Probably over here. I'm like ready to block. Sorry. Do you do you need wood, dude? Cause I have wood in my ender chest. Never mind, I'll just drop down. Yeah, I mean that's what trees are for. You're in the way where I aesthetically want to place my bed. Sorry. Yeah, I love that you planted the tree right when we we're getting ready to, like, dig up this whole area. That pig's running for his life. He's like, oh no, archaeologists. <laughs> oh. 
Hello, pig. Is any of this stuff sus? This is sus. Ooh. Crush it. Woohoo! Yellow painted glass. Remember to check before you dig. Should have made um, ladders too. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of ladders back home. I should have just brought. Flint. Very exciting. Welcome, Mariah Frank. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Two yellow pins of glass. Wahaha. <laughs> Grab it, grab it. Oh, I can move some boys and collect with more in there. You got a whole hat there, so I'm just trying to leave it for them. Yeah, there's a lot of like just normal gravel patches yeah. mixed in. They're like decoys. Thank you. 
looks like it does travel this direction though. I can see gaps in my cap. I might pop home and grab a bunch of ladders. <laughs> That's a good idea. goes off this way too, I guess. I was digging up that patch of coal to the south and I got like eight blocks back and here's bricks. Oh, cool. I haven't turned it on yet, but I did add cervix to the server, which should allow us to see structure bounding boxes, including trail ruins, but I figured it'd be more fun just to find it as we dig. Oh yeah, totally. But I was like, I, but if we get to, towards like, you know, seeming like we've gotten all of it, I might turn it on just to make sure. Makes sense. Bridges are on the north side of the pit. Bridges, ladders. By the way, um, I've got a uh, armor trim. You found a trim? Yeah. Awesome. Yay. Yep, those are bricks. See? I know bricks. Ooh. Black glazed terracotta. Oh, that's pretty. I like black glazed. Yeah. That's um, that's the one that Tango used on the floor of his shop, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Here, making me a little nervous. I know, I oh. Found some stuff here. Ah, meekabs. Oh, there's a ladder over there. Okay. Yeah, the ladders are a little flat dash, but. How do I get down this one? You can tell me this is going to be a parkour challenge. Oh, I didn't even realize that they were the same wall. I'm sorry. Here. There's nothing here. I'll just like extend this one up. Thank you.
So everyone else had already brushed some suspicious stuff before today other than me, huh? I haven't brushed anything yet. Ah. So I don't know if I have it or not, but I don't think I've brushed anything. I've just been digging out everything around to make it easier for you guys. Thomas has another trim. I guess cobble's part of the structure too, huh? Yeah, there's um, cobblestone nice. is like found a lot in like streets. Ah, nice, nice. Or like pathways within the thingy, at least. Oh my goodness, this goes everywhere. Uh, I think that was flint. Shaper armor trim. Ooh, nice. Yellow dye. hanging sign. Oh, indeed. Ooh, that's a nice one to get. Oh. Whoa! I know a whole bunch of uh, suspicious stuff here. Ooh, nice. This awesome. is a very sus section. <laughs> Wayfinder's cool. That that's a wooden hoe. Well, I mean, we knew wooden hoes were going to happen. I'm surprised that hasn't happened before now, honestly. Welcome, Maykay. Thank you for the follow. We are digging out a trail ruin. It's very exciting. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
the bus. <laughs> I'm, there's some things which I'm getting a lot of. Yeah. So right now I've got like, the three like green candles. Three green candles? That's actually like, yeah, usually it's like the one or two of a thing, but that's a lot. That's an orange dye. That wasn't like important sand to grab it. Now be careful, there's a lot of like sand gravel up there, so don't dig it there again. Yeah. I like the, I love the just like random little rooms and stuff. Probably another natural travel patch. Yeah, there's always like a ton of those like mixed in. It's like this decoy gravel patches just to mess with you. Yeah, there's a bunch of like gaps in my map in this direction, which makes me think there's something here. Like there is dirt here. Like there is dirt. That's a pretty good sign that there's probably something. 
Oh. Oh. Thomas has found something. Oh yeah. The candle. <laughs> You're the red candle finder. There's green candles before, and they go with Uncle Forever over there. Oh. Not jump. What the heck? I'm, I'm a little bit laggy right now. Yeah, I've got a bit of a ping lag too. It's okay, buddy. Like I said, we've got like two more oh, of these. Oh, you're eating. It was like right that. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go off. Go off, come on. Thomas, Thomas, please don't be rude. They look very similar to me. Like, my, my resource pack makes them look almost identical. No different to me. Apparently, the people who make my resource pack are evil. Fuck! It's okay, bud. How oh, the fuck was I supposed to get that? It's fucking suspended. Oh, yeah. Oh, Son here's some over here. Bitch. There's more over on this side. I just For got some terracotta. So like I said, we've got like two more at least that we can dig up. That so. doesn't matter. The fact is, it was something here that got destroyed. Another candle. Yeah, for all you Why know, we actually. Have... It's red. It's like Christmas. It's Christmas candle time. Oh my god, I swear, there's got to be like. It's got to spawn in clumps sometimes, I swear. That just happens, like, they're very clumpy. The random number generator has a thing for Why is everything suspended? Do you want to dig up and come down at it from above? Relic's one of my favorites. You know the red candle. This is this is very scientific. Very interesting. At least we won't have to make any red candles for a while. I've got this whole section over here if you want to help out with that one, buddy. Mm. At 
looks like there might still be some stuff above it, so just I'm heading up there now, but just be cautious of the upper bits. I have got a lot to dig up there. Something different, purple candle. <laughs> Ooh, suspicious one right there, you're on. I'm standing on a suspicious one? Yeah. Yay! Blue tie! Woohoo! Like blue tie, really, but you know. I'll make more shovels. Always so impressed by how big these things are. Yeah. Huh? Light blue dye again? This is the light blue dye section of the room. And Wayfinder. Ooh, nice. I think Wayfinder is one of the trims I need too. Thank you. Guys. So that's really good. Awesome. Another candle. Hi. Right. String. Danger pottery short. Ooh, danger. Yeah, that's it is that's just setting off into the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Um, it might go down below too. Quite possibly, yeah. Flower pot. Ooh, there's a um, grindy stone. 
Ooh. Bloody hell is this bandage shit? Things aren't working like... Ah! Push this one. This is like huge. Purple candle. Another relic. Another leaves. I like it that we're getting like two leaves. Cool. Green candle. I also got a green candle. I like it at the same time. Whoa. We're in sync, dude. of suspended stuff I'm right on top of you and I can see gravel up here. I look at my yeah, right there. Are you talking to Thomas or me? I was talking to Thomas. trail ruins. They are just like, I think they like one of the like one of the coolest things that they've added. Mm -hmm. I can tell that. Yeah definitely. I love everything the Minecraft team does. I could have done without the you know great farm nerfing but But I do have to admit that, you know, doing raid farms this way isn't that much worse than it was before, so I can't complain if it's really terrible much.
Ooh, called him. Not as not as loot as part of the build. Yeah, that's what I figured. I like those though. Those are cool. I I really like the extra bits of personality it adds, you know? Totally. Buddy, all of the broken bits were probably just wooden hose. Hopefully. This is just a lovely rune. I have some of my back like broken out of it. That's okay. It's mostly intact. Is that decoy bit of dirt here? I think this is, this is decoy dirt, okay. Decoy dirt? Yeah. The fact, that, dirty the fact that decoy dirt is a thing just amuses the hell out of me. Yeah, that is such a fun, fun thing to say, like, decoy dirt, decoy dirt. Oh, I like the grindstone-y bit here. This is fun. Isn't that cool? I think that's more decoy bit or that. We might be getting close to done with it because this yeah. is pretty big. This is a yeah, lot. Yeah, this is huge. Ultra room. More decoy oh, and another, and another grindstone room. So there's two grindstone rooms. They were very industrious. They really had their nose to the grindstones. <laughs> they could have gone at all. Like, yeah. Can't find anything out. Here, let me. Give me the duck shit thingy. Yeah. Rendering. Oh, hey now. That's definitely a thing. Okay. Go back. And like highlighting individual rooms as well as the overall structure of it. It looks like, yeah, I think we got it all. Woot woot. Like, the overall structure comes out more, it's a giant rectangle, so you know, it comes out to the edges. But if I'm understanding the way it's rendering the bits, it looks like we've found all the individual room pieces. Nice. Yeah, it looks like we have it all. Hi. Uh -huh. We had it all. 
There are a couple pieces of gravel on top of the farthest grindstone room that haven't been brushed, but I don't know if they're sus or not. So, I don't know if there was a specific scheme here, but this left wooden chest, I put all the basically ground blocks, you know, stone, cobble, dirt. Mm -hmm. And and the other one I put, you know, the treasure. 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 I'm a, I'm just get my own tiny shoulder box. <laughs> yeah, Thomas has an entire shoulder box full. I figured that you were probably doing that. And I had completely different like swords. That's fine. I did end up with a piece of cyan terracotta in my inventory, so. So did I. Yeah, that's okay. That's just. Cyan blends in. It blends in, and especially if it's a little darker, like it has been lit up as well. This uh, was. Can I put all of this in my stuff in the chest? Sure, if you want. Oh my goodness, look at it all. These wayfinders, nice. Yeah, sweet. I'm getting more stuff. And a shaper and a host. Yeah, I think that's all three that are available in Trail Ruins. I can't remember. Ooh, wooden hose! Ooh, and re relics. I like yeah. relics. Look at all of those green candles. That is a lot of green candles. That's an, that is a lot of green candles. And a lot of red. Yeah, yeah it is very Christmassy. Yeah. <laughs> I love the random dyes too. That's not a lot of wooden hose though. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a decent distribution of wooden hose. It's enough to tell a story, but not so many as to be annoying. No, that's when you go into the ocean ruins and you end up with five million of them. It's like, why even in the ocean ruins? It's under the ocean! Why do they need wooden hose? Somebody's got to be down there planting the kelp. <laughs> this was really fun though. And, yeah. um, there's yeah, a most excellent. Over here by this oh yeah, that's more ground stuff. Oh, okay. And uh, good timing too, because it, it took us till past five o'clock. Oh yeah, look at that. It's just a little after five. That was like really fun though. We're gonna have like, I want to turn this into like if my I'm like I don't know if my city's actually come come out this far, but it would be awesome to like turn this into like an actual like probably not gonna come out as far. Archaeological there. site. Like, that's yeah. Beyond. Yeah. I don't know, I still have a lot of ideas. Yeah, I think that would be cool. Yeah. Even if it doesn't, like having an archaeological dig out in the middle of the countryside near the city is still cool, you know? Totally. Mm -hmm. this is I really have cool. a little paved road all the way over. Yeah. This is yeah, indeed some, a like, archaeology stuff. Little archaeological tents. Throw an Indiana Jones nearby. Oh, totally. Yes. Build an Indiana Jones. Okay. Let's pack this stuff up to go home. It's like a shelter full of stone. Jeez, um, you know, just the other day I was thinking, oh, we're getting really low on stone, and then I did the the um. Stone I got my camp. own like a bunch of like junk chests over. Move everything. All right, I did. Then I did the um. The what you call it? The the raid farm, and there was like so much digging out for that because I had to dig out the little hole for like the build chamber and everything. It was just wild. So now we've got like a ton of stone again. There, I emptied out your shulker so you can. I'm 
Platy has gone exploring in the water nearby, right here. Well, you gotta go for a dip every now and then, right? <laughs> it's kind of dark down here, though. being very in the way. Egg? What happened to that? He was just like climbing all over my stuff while I was trying to pack things. Yeah, what happened to He was right there. Oh, okay, oh, okay. He just wandered off. Oh, I, <laughs> I didn't see any animal homicide, so... Yeah, no, there was no animal homicide. All right, time to head home. That was really fun, though. I like I brushed a thing. I <laughs> yeah, you got the achievement. Yeah, that's just kind of silly that it's like I was kind of so slow about that. So that I broke two pieces. The second one I broke because I thought that you were on top clearing off all the suspicious stuff on top. I didn't realize you were just digging things that weren't gravel and leaving the rest there. <laughs> it does get a little confusing. <sighs> it's a uh, salted uh, dead guy. Oh, by the way, check it out. Ooh, fancy boots. With the pig toes. These are the spicy platy hooves. <laughs> I'm gonna do it my alma now. Yep. Oh. Thomas is gonna make himself look cool with the armor training. Good idea. I'm still missing one because I need the um, villager outpost. Next time, next time. Uh, well, not next time. Whoa, hey now. Bye. on the advancement class. Ooh, nice, I like it. How do you think of that? Ooh! Nice! Awesome! Did you dupe that eye? Okay, yeah. I was just kind of double checking that everything got duped right. That's really nice looking, too. Fancy, what's on your pants? Snout. That's snout? That's cool. It's like little stripes. Ooh, I wanna see. I wanna see. I have snout on my pants, um, eye on my chest plate, snow on my helmet, bolt on my boot. Ooh, very cool. You look like a superhero, dude. I know, it does look very superhero-y. With the glowy trims, you all look like Tron in the Nether, by the way, when we were running through there. Nether Tron. Like...
Are you just missing the one from the uh... Ooh, yeah, nice. Um, I have to double check where I'm putting everything, but I think, yeah, that's the only one. Because I think the other two I needed were both trail rolls. I think we have all the trail rolls. Yeah, that's You know, this is good to celebrate a successful day archaeologizing in the trail ruins. I know, right? You need to move your cats closer, though. So that they yeah, can do they the jam? Yeah. Okay, guys, let's move a little closer, shall we? No, you're all heading in the wrong direction. Come on now. Here they come. I think. Oh, oh. Yeah, the sat one's doing it. That one's doing it. That one's doing it. I think it might help you online. Yeah, they're doing it for me. <laughs> it's really subtle. Nice. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, they're doing it on yours too. It's just really subtle. Oh, oh they're actually evolving now. Okay, they were evolving before. The grass is involved. Yeah, it's because I think they keep looking at me, which is like messing up their bopping. But now that I'm being still. Best mod ever, by the way, Cat Jam. Just awesome. Incompatible with fresh animations, though, so I had to ditch that. Yeah, because you gotta have priorities. Yeah, definitely. And the Bopping Cats is the winner, definitely. Now I'm like, I gotta move cats up into the music room in the chateau. You totally do. <laughs> Is this not your cat, or did this one just not want to come over? That one just might not have. I might have missed him in the in the rush. He was kind of blending in with the dog. Is he coming? There we go. Yeah. Ah! I fell down. Uh, now the cat's going to you. The cat's going to save you. <laughs> That was awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna head up to the chateau to sign off, guys. Yep. I'll go sign off in the music room. Where we need kitties. Yes, I hear you downstairs, but you're guarding the dragon egg and stuff. Okay, I'll think about it. It's a very important job guarding the dragon head, that is true. Maybe you need to well, move the, the, dra the dragon egg, but dragon the egg. head is actually there too. <laughs> Maybe you need to move the dragon egg up to the music room. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I could put it on top of the piano. Hmm, now that's a thought. For next time. For now, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the archaeology.
uh, and a little tour of everything at the beginning and until next time uh remember um to butter your toast unless you don't want to yeah <sighs>